With Great Tusk and Iron Treads Terror Raids only a couple days away, it's time to look at the one and only Pokemon you're going to need to take down these raids. So today, let's take a look at Rotom and his many forms that you're going to be able to use to take down every Terra type, Great Tusk and Iron Treads, when they arrive later this week. Let's get to it. All right, so if we were going to build ourselves Rotom to take down both Great Tusk and Iron Treads, we're going to need to get ourselves a Rotom first. And this is actually pretty easily accomplishable in Scarlet and Violet. Uh, all you're going to have to do is come over to this Poke Stop at Porto Maranata. And as soon as you get here, you are going to make yourself an electric type sandwich uh, that has electric and counter power. And if you're using pre made sandwiches, that is just the avocado sandwich, it's avocado and the smoked filet. Uh, it's super simple to make, but as soon as you do that, you're going to be able to see that right over in this area over here, and even down in this area down here, you're going to have Rotom spawning like it's nobody's business. So, you're going to need to catch yourself a single Rotom to start off with, or if you want to have one of each, go ahead and catch yourself six Rotom. And once you've done that, it's time to move on to the next step for this guy. Just as a quick note, we will be transforming Rotom depending on what raid we're going into and what the Terra type is. So if you don't have the Rotom catalog yet, you're going to want to make sure that you get that. And in order to get the Rotom catalog in this game, all you have to do is just make sure that you have a Rotom in your party. And you're going to come down to the auction house right down outside of uh, Porto Maranata. So right by this Poke Stop that, you know, we just came from. And if you have a Rotom in your party already, one of these auction uh, people is going to be guaranteed to have a Rotom catalog. Mine was right here. And as you can see, I've gotten it already, so I'm missing a spot on this one. But you're going to want to get yourself a Rotom catalog, and after you've got yourself a Rotom catalog, let's get ready to do some Eevee and Ivy training on this guy. So once you're ready to start Eevee and Ivy training your newly acquired Rotom, you're going to head to whatever place that you want to go to. Uh, I obviously went to Lavincia North because that's my place to go. And the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your Rotom is in your party, he's at the top, and then use whatever method you want to to get him to level 100. Whether that's just grinding out levels, using XP candies, rare candies, whatever you want to do, make sure it's level 100. We don't care about the moveset at the moment, and as soon as you've done that, you're going to hop on your ride Pokemon, head to your local Chansey Supply, and let's get ready to buy some vitamins. Now, for this guy, we know that Great Tusk and Iron Treads both have high physical attack, and Rotom has pretty high physical defense to begin with, but we're going to go ahead and just uh, make this a little easier on ourselves. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to start off by buying ourselves 25 iron because we're going to max out our IEVs in physical defense. And then we're also going to buy ourselves 25 calcium if we don't have them already because we want to max out our EVs in our special attack uh, as well. And while you're here, we also want to make sure that we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a modest mint if you don't have one because this is definitely going to be a modest nature Pokemon. But once you've got all that, go ahead and fork over 520,000 Poke Dollars, and let's head outside and throw our Rotom together. All right, so now that you're outside, you're gonna make sure Rotom is at the top of your party. You're gonna make sure he's level 100. We're gonna hop into our bag. We're gonna head over to our other items pocket, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start off by giving this guy 25 or 26, depending on if you have feathers or not, calcium. So we're going to go ahead and give him 26, max out our special attack. As soon as we've done that, we're going to give him 25 or 26 iron, depending on your situation, just like so. And then whatever EVs we have left over, we're going to go ahead and dump into our health. So in our case, this is six. So we're going to go ahead and dump these into our health. And we're going to hop down. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give this guy a modest nature. Boom, just like that. We've got a modest nature now, and with that, Rotom is pretty well ready to go. So you should have Rotom level 100 right now, or it's electric and ghost typing with an electric terra type. Our EVs are maxed out in special attack and physical defense with a modest nature, and our ability is levitate, which is what we want to make sure that we have for this one. And with that, it's time to start talking about IV, so I'll see you guys in a second in our favorite place to go talk to our favorite person. So now that we're at our favorite place, let's go ahead and talk to our uh, favorite shady friend in the glasses real quick. We're going to do some hyper training, and we're going to do this on our Rotom that we just did our EV training on. So we're going to hop in, we're going to grab this guy, just like so. We're going to use our normal bottle caps, because we really don't care about using our gold bottle cap on this one. And we're going to IV train everything except our physical attack, because we're definitely not a physical attacker. And just like that, our hyper training is done.
So once your hyper training is done, you're ready to start looking at what moves Rotom needs in order to take out both Great Tusk and Iron Treads. Now, as far as moves go for your Rotom, it should look a little something like this. Our first move that we have is we have Reflect, which Rotom learns via TM. We have Nasty Plot, another TM move that Rotom learns. And those are really the two big moves that you wanna make sure that you have on your Rotom. The third move, however, can vary just a little bit. I threw Dark Pulse on mine because it is a special attack move. It has some decent power to it, and it has the ability to make the opponent flinch, uh, which could be very helpful in these raids. The last move is not going to matter. I left this one as Thundershock because I'm currently in the base Rotom form, but this move is going to change depending on which form you change your Rotom into. So for example, right now we have this as Thundershock. If we were to transform into the microwave version, however, it would be Overheat. If we transformed into the wash version, it would be Hydro Pump. The refrigerator would be Blizzard. Rotom Than would be Air Slash. And then Rotom Mo would be Leaf Storm. So this last move is going to change depending on which form you change your Rotom into. Uh, and that's what makes this, uh, this build beautiful is depending on what type of Great Tusk or Iron Treads raid, raid you're going into, uh, you can change your Rotom's form and change this last, last move to make sure that you have coverage to match it. So this is what your move set should look like for Rotom. And with that, let's take a look at this guy as a whole and talk about how you're gonna use him to take down Great Tusk and Iron Treads. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate Rotom to take on Great Tusk and Iron Treads when they arrive later this week in Scarlet and Violet. Now, this is base Rotom right now, but as we know, using the Rotom catalog, you can change this into one of the five other versions of Rotom, uh, whether that's the microwave, the washing machine, the refrigerator, uh, the fan, or even the lawnmower. And each of these builds will have its own specific purpose here. But the base Rotom is what you wanna make sure that you have everything trained on. So this should be level 100. Right now it's an electric and ghost typing with an electric terror type. Uh, you're gonna have max EVs in your special attack and physical defense with a modest nature. Your ability is levitate. The first three moves that your Rotom has should be reflect, nasty plot, and some other coverage move. I had dark pulse, stored power would also be really good for this build. And your last move is going to depend on what form of Rotom you have, whether that is Thundershock, Overheat, Hydro Pump, Blizzard, Air Slash, or Leaf Storm is what it's gonna depend on. Uh, the nice thing about this build is you could take this build and very simply just go to whichever five-star raid you're going to, and based off of what that is, you can change your form because you can change your form multiple times with a single Rotom. It doesn't matter. If you walk up to a fire type uh, Great Tusk raid, then you're gonna know, okay, it's fire type. I'm gonna wanna make sure that I have Rotom lawn or Rotom washing machine, so I have Hydro Pump. And then as soon as you're done with that, if you walk up to a leaf type Terra raid for Great Tusk or Iron Treads, you're gonna go back and you're gonna change it to the microwave version so that you have access to overheat. It's a very versatile build that allows you to change things up over and over and over again. Plus having the ability levitate means that if they do have earthquake, you're not gonna be affected by these. But the general strat for this one's pretty simple. Hop into a raid, use reflect first turn, use nasty plot after that to boost your special attack up as high as it will go. And then after that, start spamming whatever your special attack coverage move is for this one, whether it's Thundershock, Overheat, Hydro Pump, Blizzard, Air Slash, or Leaf Storm. And if you do that, I can guarantee you're going to make this raid as easy as possible and as you can for yourself. So get out there, get yourself a Rotom built. It's pretty simple. Farm these raids. And remember, you guys got this. I believe in you. I'll see you in the next one. Later.